previously on Revelations 2. Someone left a message. Welcome to the Kierling, where all things ah! come to me. I not know this thing you are speaking. I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. I did what I thought was right. <laughs> we'll know each other inside. You're perfect. <coughs> Six months from now, you're going to awaken as me. And the world is going to be very afraid. I knew it! So good night, my darling. Sleep well. All this time wasted. My whole life has been a prelude to this. My true birth. So we just missed Natalia. Are you the cause of our misery? What is this place? I don't know, but I want to touch that laser. Doesn't matter. Let's find the overseer. Maybe it's not laser. Anything back here? But that's that's kind of what I thought from the last chapter was that Natalia is not Natalia. She is um, Alex Wesker now. She may not be aware of it. Oh. But that's what she is now. That's who she is now. That sluice changed the direction of the water. Yeah, but where? I don't rec look at the video feeds. We've been through most of these areas. And she's been watching our every step. Resident Evil is always so weird that they have like this high tech laboratory department with s servers and HD cameras and 4K video. And it's always hidden underneath like a third world like country or just a dilapidated building or something like that or like in a an abandoned mine. Like even this is in an abandoned mine. It quite literally is this is in an abandoned mine. Notes on the transfer procedure. The transfer will take place soon and my success is high. It's nigh. High nigh. Nigh high. Spencer, you Spencer was her father. Quotations. You poor pathetic old man. You spent your final years desperately searching for the secret to immortality, and you died while your search was still incomplete. But I have been continuing that research. The body will age. This is an inescapable fact. But we can escape our death by transferring our mind into another vessel. All of my efforts have been invested into developing and refining this system. I've had a few successes, but I still have so much to do. Before I can consider my work to be complete. As of now, I can confirm the following. The new vessel must be mentally strong and be able to overcome any emotions of fear. After the transfer, it will take six months before the transferred mind can be stabilized. During this time, the vessel should be protected at all costs. Time is of the essence. I must what work do you quickly. Mean 
I don't know. I just can't figure the overseer out. Fuck you, old fish. Uh, I'm sorry, fishies. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. I regret everything. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a door wheel. Does not. Thoughts on Kafka. I have a love-hate relationship with this story. Perhaps I can relate to it more closely than I'd like to admit. One more Gregor awakens to find himself transformed into a hideous insect-like creature. His family is bewildered at first, but they do try to take care of him. Eventually, he becomes too much of a burden to them. Nothing more than an ugly monster, a nuisance to the family. When Gregor learns of this, he retreats to a solitary death. Up until his transformation, Gregor had been supporting the family. Now that he was no longer useful, he was a burden to them. They were relieved when he died. I, too, had been bred to serve a purpose. Once that purpose could accomplished, I, too, would have been cast aside. But I refused to shrivel up and die in solitude. I refused to let myself become a hideous monster. I must have felt the same way, too, Abel. Oh, you. Yeah, so, Abel and Alex, which I believe Alex has been pre has been mentioned a few times. Oh, well, let's read this. Neil's report. Fucking Neil. Stuart. It looks like the most suitable vessel is going to be that little girl after all. The other candidates have potential, but that girl is an entirely different class. She is incapable of feeling fear. That's not surprising when you consider what she's been through. Getting caught up in the Terragrigia panic at such a young age, having everyone she knew be killed, losing her parents right in front of her eyes. After experiencing those kinds of horrors, what left is there but to be afraid of? The only problem is her age, but that's a problem that time will take care of for us. She's the perfect candidate for our purposes. I wonder, so she, though, like, has just been through so much shit that... How are we gonna get through? She has, There's like... There's gotta be some way to reach the other side. Closed herself off to feeling emotion? Or... She... She has, like, a mental... A mental deal where she literally cannot feel... I gotta move this, don't I? Where she literally cannot feel... Uh, feel... Now, going back to what I was mentioning about, like, Alex Oscar. I believe we have heard about Alex before? Alright, we're through. Let's hurry. I believe she has been mentioned in previous games at other times. Um, but basically, her and, uh, Abbott Wesker, the Wesker, uh, brothers and sisters. I don't know if they're actually biological. We meet at last. Brothers and sisters, oh, hello. One moment. You came all this way just to say goodbye. Oh, I'm Hi. touched. So she's dying, apparently. And I get the idea it's that those are clones. Done. I've conquered fear and earned the right to become a god. Damn. Come out from behind that glass so I can choke a god. All that remains is one final test. One last threshold. Is she even listening to us? My brother's escape was death. And soon, it will be mine as well. Hi. I will share in his fate. And then, I will surpass him. What are you trying to do? It's okay, the glass can't be shot through. I've already tried. Go ahead. Try it. Try it, bitch. No. Oh, she's going to transform, isn't she? That's not good. Neil? Oh, when she dies, everything goes completely. Okay. We need to get out of here. And let all the answers die with her. Back to the elevator. Hurry! I am not sharing a coffin with that nutshell. Yeah, I think you will. Alright, so basically Ho and Wesco will subjects for Spencer's dealio. Follow me. 
Um, yeah, for whole. Oh my god. Words. I had to sneeze and I, I forgot what I was even talking about. Uh, Alex and the Wesco family, basically, were used as experiments for Spencer's basically test of immortality. And they were more than just them. There was other kids that were using these as well. But uh, eventually Spencer There's gave up on that. Find another route. Oh god. Gave up on that route uh, to immortality. And eventually he never succeeded in that. I will kill Spencer. And that's basically the plot of Resident Evil 2, I believe. It's either one or two. It's either the plot of one or two. But basically, Wesco, not Wesco, uh, Spencer kind of gave birth to all of this. But in Resident Evil, I believe, ain't. Uh, we find out that Spencer was actually kind of in a pseudo relationship with uh, uh, Miranda, basically. Uh, she she took him on. She took him on as an apprentice for a time, and he was like. Uh, I don't think this is actually what I need. I, I want... Your, your dreams are too small for me, Miranda. I want... Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Thank you. Uh, Spencer was like, I want planet-wide evolution. You just want your child back. And I don't believe that a fungus is going to work for my needs. But a virus, on the other hand... Right. But a virus, on the other hand, will be able to spread right enough. And that's where the T virus comes from, and that's where all of this stuff is kind of based on. Even, like, this, like, T Phobos thing. That we kind of. that they're working on now. This T Phobos is also part of this, so, uh. Dealio. But in the last. This game comes after Resident Evil 6, I believe. Which is where. Uh oh. Are you kidding? My fucking emergency exit! This thing is so. out so well. Uh. That's where Wesco finally dies. Spoilers. Not really, because she just mentioned it. But that's where. That's where she. No, that's where Wesco finally does. And now they were like, you know what? We're gonna make. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna do something with Alex because we've we've kind of introduced her vaguely in previous previous games. So uh, so they they made her enemy in this. That's kind of the whole. Okay. The whole Wesco family. Uh. Can I drop off here? I can, <laughs> but I miss. But anyway, that's the whole deal of the Wesco family is that brought in his kids. Oh god, I gotta go through that whole bit again. Brought in his kids, uh, used for research. Okay, this is this is annoying because I know, I know you can jump down. That's that's annoying. Um, but anyway. Brought in his kids, used his test subjects for the the T virus, and that's why good why Wesco has all of his insane powers. And I guess Alex never really fully went through. 
into her powers? I'm not too sure. It's a bit strange. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like maybe I wasn't supposed to go that way. Something's, something's fishy about that. Uh, but yeah. It's, it's, it's honestly not very convoluted, but kind of explaining it kind of feels convoluted, really. Hi, Mora. That was a lot of Resident Evil load, it's like. kind of goes back on in itself and it's like, oh, well, actually, it's like this. I thought I would climb up here, but I guess not. Do I climb up here? I will say, like, the climbing controls on this is a little wacky. Well, they don't... They don't... Actually, not the climbing. The climbing is fine. It's the... It's the drop down that's weird because they don't want to do it. A lot of times they won't even die from it. Oh. I think I've only met one area where you can actually die, and that was this area right here. By falling. But I honestly haven't tried falling that much. Where do I go? I, I wish there was like a jump down button as opposed to a just walk up to the edge and fall. I do tend to hit A. Well, that's not how you do that. I do tend to hit A to like jump down so that there may actually be a button to do it. Oh, what? They're gonna put me way back here. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I don't like that at all. Especially when these bits are so slow. Like, this this really feels like they're trying to prolong game time. This is what this feels like. Like, setting you back all the way this way really feels like it's trying to... I know if I fall that way, I just die. How do I get this? Moira, I need you. I need you for science. Okay. So you can do it, it's just... finicky. Oh, really? Come on now. Oh, I... No, I did fuck it up! Oh my god, that... One pixel, one pixel again, are you serious? I'm so nervous about, like, fucking it up now. These things have been really, like, pretty forgiving about it, and then these... <gasps> a diamond! There's been, like, these two bits where it just has not been forgiving at all. I thought it was dropped. Oh, <laughs> speed run strats! That's how we do it. We speed running. I I do I would like it if they may parts where you're not supposed to fall down, you can't fall down, but parts where you are supposed to, you just do. Like this, like I'm supposed to fall down here. So the fact that they make me not able to fall down there, unless I'm like running at full speed, in which case the momentum may force me to jump off the edge though, and then die. I, I wish they wouldn't do that.
right there. Like I'm, I'm literally just supposed to like fall there. And here, like I'm supposed to just supposed to just drop down. And right here, I'm supposed to just drop down. We need to find a way across. Sorry, Mara. I thought I would shoot it, but that ain't working. Uh oh. Easy does it. At least this, like, because everyone always talks about how weird it looks. How weird it looks having uh, having your partner like just yeet you up. And this one, they really like. Granted, it's slower, but at least it's more realistic. I'm gonna make it! I'm gonna make it! You're not gonna make it. Wait, hold on. Feel like I push it this way. Is this right? Does this make sense? Can can you push? Oh, you can push. We got this. So, I'm guessing that. I'm guessing that Alex doesn't actually die here. I'm guessing that. After she, you know, domed herself in the head to make it as respectful as I can, that, uh, she comes back as that kind of abomination, that version that we see. And, uh, she probably, like, sews herself together with a whole bunch of bits of other dead bodies that she finds. Oh, it's a clone. It's a clone version that she had that just happened to survive. And it thinks that it is her. And then when it finds out, just by looking at uh, Natalia's eyes, that she is not, in fact, the real uh, Alex. And that Natalia actually is. She basically just screams and goes crazy. <gasps> Moira! Well, this is how Moira does. And this is why we don't hear about her ever again. Moira! No! Don't you fucking dare! Moira! We have to. I could, but Moira, I don't have time. Don't look back. Moira, I'm looking back. Moira. Okay, they stopped the time. Moira. I think this is the only time we actually actively Oh, they won't even let me go back. Oh wow, they won't even let me can I even see her? I can, I can see her! Mara, I'm sorry. I think this is the one time you actively have to leave your opponent behind in the Resident Evil movie. Up oh, movie. In the Resident Evil game. Bah. I think this is the only time this ever happened. But that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. This episode, very, very small episode. I'm actually quite surprised. Like, nothing happened. We didn't have to fight. We didn't have to fight uh, Alex. Uh, 
which I didn't really expect. But honestly, it makes sense because that's Barry's and Natalia's boss. Um, but it makes up for it because the last episode is going to be very uh, was very long. Um, I'm playing this before I'm recording this. And I haven't posted it on YouTube yet. But last episode was very long, so I guess this makes up for it. Um, so they kind of like make up for each other. But that's gonna be it for this episode, and I'll see you all next time.